On, keep going. The Bentley driver had a case of the extreme rage. Keeping a baseball bat in the trunk tells me that this isn't his first rodeo. The driver supposedly faces police questioning and charges now. The camera admits he may have overdone it on the horn, but given the circumstances, I'd argue it's understandable. They could have been dead had the camera not had incredible defensive driving skills. The driver that had the gate come down on him was okay, but his windshield did get smashed in the process. Hopefully he learned that red crosses on matrix boards are not to be ignored. The Fiat driver must have waited for the camera to pull out prior to proceeding. Slow decision making made him take the wrong decision. The camera was sad because his dash cam didn't pick up the tire screeching sound from this insanely close call. The BMW driver nearly took out the speed limit sign and cut off the bends in the process. He's lucky he didn't curb and spin out of control. To me personally, it seems like they were racing. It's very sensible of the camera to drop back and increase his distance. It's not a good idea to be involved in that accident. Have a look at this fucking moron here. He's trying to get in there. He's holding up a whole lane of traffic. Peak hour of traffic. And M3. Absolute. Look in front of him. Whole lane is open. The genius attempted to overtake on a hilly road at night. That could have gone so much worse, but thankfully everyone was going a reasonable speed and was able to stop in time. The camera admits that he was at fault for nearly causing a crash, but after a second look, I noticed the driver ahead that seems to not have brake lights working, so I blame the driver ahead.
засранца. The Bentley driver learned his lesson to not litter on the road. The camera picked up their rubbish, and sorry, I know.